A lot of people talk about failure and when things don't go right. There's another aspect to endeavor, and that is this idea of mistakes and what separates a mistake from a failure and what separates a bad mistake from a mistake that might be one of the most magical things that can happen to you. So a few years back, my friend's mother passed away and a mutual friend of ours called me up and said that this friend wanted us to get together and rehearse a few pieces of music that we would perform at the memorial service. I thought this was a wonderful way to memorialize his mother and also to make a painful experience a little less painful for everybody. We had a beautiful night uh, rehearsing those songs. I think it was a really healing thing for everyone uh, in that moment. And it was a powerful reminder for me of how music can hold us together and the power of music to just transform a situation and transform a feeling from something that is negative and painful into something that's more positive. And it certainly brought us together that night. The next day we arrived at the church with all our gear and of course, as with any event, it's a chaos. So we set up on the stage, tested everything. We did a quick pre-rehearsal before people arrived. All the gear was in working order and it sounded great. There were tons of kids at this event and it was interesting. I mean, it's, it's fascinating to watch children in these kinds of situations. They don't know necessarily what's appropriate or what's inappropriate. I'm sure their parents told them like, you know, this is a somber event, something sad has happened and we should be respectful of that. But, you know, kids are kids, they forget very quickly and they were doing their own thing and running around and screaming and playing and having a good time. And actually, it was really nice to have that kind of an energy in that moment and that kind of innocence. Again, it was, uh, it was a nice reminder that life goes on and, you know, we don't have to be sad just because. While these kids were playing around, of course, they got really interested in the instruments. What's this thing? What's that thing? How does this work? And they wanted to try everything out. They wanted to hit the drums and play the bass and strum the banjo and all this stuff. <laughs> so it was really fun watching them, um, you know, mess around. But somewhere in that messing around, something happened. I don't know what it was. Maybe something got stepped on, maybe something got pulled, maybe something got jerked. I don't know what it was. In any case, when it came time for us to do our performance, we flipped on the gear, and as I did my line check and played the bass, no sound was coming out. Okay, and this was live now. We were on the stage in front of a bunch of people, and there wasn't really a, a second chance and we didn't want to faff about too much. So I got to work, you know, it's just one of those things where you get into that situation and you start solving problems. So I was going through everything. What is this? Is it this? Is it that? Testing out, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, the pressure was just kind of getting to me. So I said, you know what, why don't you guys just start and I'll join you as soon as I get this sorted out. And if I don't, then I guess it's just going to be what it is. They start playing the song and I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Eventually, after going through the list of everything that could be wrong, I finally found out that it was the patch cord. So I went to, I think it was the pastor or somebody that worked at the church and said, you guys have any extras? Because we were out. And luckily they did have an extra patch cord because they have performances there. They have a band that plays for services. And he got me the patch cord. I patched in and everything was good. I had my bass back. I stood up and turned around mentally just thought about where we were in the song and I knew where I could come in, where it was gonna make sense to come in. And I waited. That moment finally arrived, just heart stopping. It was, it was incredible because you had this beautiful, lonely, melancholy tune with my friend singing. And it was just heartrending to start with. And then, when the bass came in, it just filled the whole church. It vibrated everything. And it was just so powerful. All of a sudden you had this frail, lonely sound held up by this big, gigantic, cupped hands of the bass, holding everything together and holding it up. And you could feel the change. You could feel how everyone was instantly moved by that moment. It was so powerful. And Afterwards, at the reception, people were coming up to us over and over again, expressing how beautiful that moment was. And to them, they just saw a band doing their thing. They didn't know that anything was wrong. They didn't know that something had gone off, that we were trying to 
keep going despite something having gone off the rails. And what ended up happening was it created this absolutely beautiful moment for everyone that elevated things way beyond what they would have been had we done it correctly, had we played the tune as we practiced, had things gone the way they were supposed to go. And again, it reminded me that mistakes, when they happen, don't have to be a bad thing. They don't have to be the end of the world. They don't have to be something where you go into a panic or have to figure out how to fix it. Maybe the mistake can be the best thing that happened. How many times have you seen a really great performer lose their place in a song, have a false start, or stumble in some way? The performance isn't perfect. And suddenly, the curtain gets pulled back and you see a real person. You see someone who's frail and faulty and, you know, subject to error, just like everyone else. And it's always the way in which an artist picks themselves up from that moment and continues that really tells you if someone is a professional, if someone has confidence in what they're doing. Mistakes are gonna happen, that's inevitable. It's really how we pick ourselves up. It's really about how we continue from that moment on. There's something also about that moment when you release the tension of having to be perfect that opens the door for you to truly extend and reach for something even better than you could have hoped for. When you are so concerned with things going right, when you're being a perfectionist, you close the door to a certain extent to that kind of a magic. You close the door to the possibility that things could be even better. You close the door to a kind of relaxed acceptance that can lead to the most powerful performance, the most amazing experience for yourself and everyone else. So I like to try and keep that moment in mind when I'm doing anything, especially when I'm performing, when I'm speaking in public, when I'm working on my craft, that sometimes mistakes are the most beautiful thing that can happen. And if we open ourselves up to that, we also open ourselves up to an incredible magic that can happen. Thanks a lot for watching.